Ah. Well, hello, hello, everybody. You guys already know who it is here. Arco, back again with another video on the Minecraft 1.18 Let's Play. Uh, this is episode two, and I have a couple ideas for what I want to do for this episode. Uh, before we get into that, look how beautiful this all looks like. My God. And I think that's time for us to go to sleep. Beautiful. Okay. And let's see the sunrise. Ah, gorgeous. Okay. So for today's episode, I know I was going to talk about the interior and everything up here, but uh, it took me a long time to get to this point. Don't really feel like showing everything. I mean, you guys kind of get the gist. Everything over here. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, So the idea for today, if you guys remember, or we didn't see episode one i kept complaining about how i don't know how to mine on this new update and i've had a lot a lot of trouble with getting iron as you can see right here no freaking iron we got 15 diamonds left but no iron so for today's episode we are going to try to at least get started on building an iron farm now the villager breeder over there, I don't know if it's broken or maybe it doesn't work that well in 1.18. Not sure yet, but got to figure that out. I have two villagers ready and prepped to go. I think I need three for the build that I'm going to be doing, uh, which I will also have linked in the description down below. But I'm thinking, I feel like I want to add it over here somewhere because I know it can't be too close to the villager breeder. And having a nice source of iron and bone meal, which it is a half bone meal farm, would be very nice to have close by. So I'm thinking maybe over here somewhere. I just really love how this looks like. Uh, there's a lot of these big flowers, which I'm going to have to take care of some of these to like clean it up, make it look a little bit nicer. But I think... <laughs> I feel like if we add it over here, it'd be very nice. It would fit in. Yeah, maybe like over here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, right here. Look at this open spot already. It's already in prep for me. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get everything ready to go. I have to go get supplies. We're going to be building this out of spruce, of course, to match the theme. And I'll probably end up getting some of the, what was that called? Deep slate. Yeah, I'm going to be getting some of that deep slate that I'm going to be adding. I think I have extra glass left over from this build as well as the villager breeder. Um, and yeah, so once I get all the materials that I think I will need, I will be right back with you guys. Toodles. On uh, second thought, before I collect all my materials, I thought I could clear this area out and get ready to build. And while I do that, I can talk to you guys for a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. So I actually just got back home from taking a uh, final exam in my coding class. Um, it wasn't that bad, you know, I think I did fairly decent on it. Uh, but I also want to tell you guys that I haven't really heard from my friend uh, about joining the server, joining the Let's Play. So I don't really know if he's going to be around. So it might just be me, at least for the first couple episodes, maybe, maybe even for the entire thing. No idea. But um, yeah. Also, in the comment section of episode one, I had someone talk to me about the shaders that I was using and how to install them. Uh, I can go ahead and make a video on how I do that. Uh, obviously, the first thing you guys will need if you want shaders is you will need Optifine, which gives you the shaders folder here where you can add shaders. Uh, so yeah, I can go ahead and make a video on that. It's pretty easy to do. Probably won't even be that long of a video. So I might even upload that the same time I upload this video. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I've also received some pretty good feedback on the first episode, and that means a lot to me, guys. But yeah, shaders are really easy to install. It won't be a long video at all, but I'll go ahead and make that for you guys if you guys don't know how to do it already. I am not using any texture pack right now. I do have a couple installed, but I, I figured just for the Let's Play, we can keep it basically 100% vanilla, other than some data packs that I have, uh, such as One Player Sleep for the other people that join the server. If they're on and I'm on AFK or something and they want to sleep, I'm not around. They can go ahead and do that. We also have some pretty cool like statistics tracking data packs on that I haven't set up yet, but I think that's going to be a cool addition to have. Um, if you guys do want me to use a texture pack, feel free to let me know in the comments below. 
But yeah, as I stated previously, uh, in the last episode, I did receive some pretty good feedback on the video, and that's very, very, like, greatly appreciated. It really made my day seeing you guys' comments on that video. And hopefully we can get just as many, if not more, on this one. That'd be awesome. As well as some likes, of course. Let's me know that I'm doing a good job. Uh, and even dislikes, if you guys don't like something, I mean, go ahead and comment down below and let me know. I feel like we cleared this area out a decent amount. I, I think we need to clear out a pathway from the house over to here. So maybe let's get rid of some of these trees. I kind of want to keep that one, but this one can go. And the big trees like this one are really annoying to deal with. So I'll just leave that for later. We can we can always make adjustments, you know, plant some more. Uh, like I said, this farm is an iron farm, but also a bone meal farm, which is going to be awesome because definitely like having a lot of bone meal. Uh, you, you never really know when you're going to need it. It's always great to have. When you don't have it, life kind of sucks. But I am wrapping up this semester of school. So that means I will be having a lot more free time to make more videos and upload a lot more consistent. I'll be having a lot more time to upload consistently which will make things a little bit easier for me and the channel will be populated with more videos so that's gonna be awesome i will be playing this let's play alongside other games um there's a new game that my friend actually introduced me to last night which i can't remember the name of but it's like a battle royale uh and it's a first person shooter i believe and it looks very very neat and cool and it's a free game on steam so i'll probably be doing a video on that if not a live stream uh, if you guys want to check out my live stream, that will be at twitch.tv backslash Arco. So go ahead and check me out if you guys want to. Uh, it would be greatly appreciated if you guys drop a follow on that too. And I don't know if I've said it already, but if you are new here, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Uh, it means the world to me. I really want to see this channel grow and prosper, and I want to build a little community out of this. Um, like I said, I will be playing a lot of Minecraft, but there's also going to be other games thrown into the video uploads. I haven't really come up with an exact like schedule or anything. But I definitely want to start pumping out content as much as I can, especially during the free time that I do have uh, while school is out for break. I did also have an idea about inviting subscribers uh, into the server. I only have some close friends that are allowed to get on the server, uh, so I really don't want any griefing going on. But I might end up making a different world where maybe subscribers can join and we can all build a very nice and big world together that would be very very cool i'm still thinking about it i don't know if you guys think that would be cool feel free to comment that down below i will definitely definitely take your guys's opinion into consideration Alrighty, well it seems like we cleaned out this area pretty good amount so i think it's time that we go ahead and get our supplies ready i'll be back as soon as we get that done well guys uh <laughs> It's been quite a while, but I got, I think, everything that I need. Um, now, unfortunately, because I'm a dummy, I did have to go into the nether to get some stuff for a comparator, aka quartz. And I wasn't recording when I did that, but it's okay. We managed to survive. Also went mining, got a little bit more iron because I needed the iron. And we got enough stuff to get going now so i already started building it forgot that you know it's supposed to be recording this stuff but i'll show you guys the rest of it now i'm not going to record the entire thing there'll be cuts in between this entire build uh so you won't be able to really like follow me along but don't worry i will leave the video that i watched linked in the description so that way if you guys do want to build the same thing you can go ahead and build it in your world uh, but I also got these three villagers here and ready to go. I got a pig in this boat with this guy. Let's just get rid of him. Don't need that. Actually, I probably do need that. Uh, whatever. Uh, but I'll go ahead and carry on building. And then, yeah, you guys can pretty much just watch me get this stuff done real quick.
Jeez, if you guys know anything about moving villagers, this is by far the most annoying part there is. Why did the first guy go in so easily? And now I have to deal with this. No way, you fell off. Oh my gosh. Oh shoot, oh shoot. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna try to do this with both of them. Many, many minutes later. Okay, well, I managed to get the three of them into their little area up there where the beds are. But I just gotta make sure that they got their stuff. Also, don't don't ask me how I got this. This is gonna just stay there. I did not have to go grab another villager or anything like that. No, 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 no. They all just went in smoothly and everything worked out. Okay, okay. Capish. Let's go ahead and clean this up real quick because this looks absolutely disgusting. And I want it to look pretty. Please look pretty. Uh, so bad, uh, so good. All right, let me just double check on these guys. You guys chilling? All right, okay. And now we carry on. Before I forget, before it gets nighttime, we find a zombie. Let's go ahead and name this. Cool beans. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and find a zombie. Now, this is going to be kind of difficult, and I think I will need to get rid of this stuff. So while we wait for our little guy to spawn in. And I know I, I know I don't need torches everywhere like this, but with the shaders on, it does get kind of dark. So also didn't need this many rails, but oh well. I will need a minecart. All right, let's go find the spooky guy. Spooky guy, where are you? Come, 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 come. Where are you? Oh, spooky guy. Hello. Come, come, come. Follow me, please, 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 entry, please, entry, please, don't bring your friends, bro, please. Can you not pathfind? Wow, you can't follow rails, bro? Are you that slow? Spooky guy. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? There's a boom boom guy right there. I don't want to deal with this. Come on. One eternity later. Maybe the other guy will push him. Yeah, shout out to your friend. You are now getting lost forever. Okay, I think we're good for right now. And before I forget, hold on. Subscribe. Only issue now is I gotta deal with this freaking guy. Oh frick! No, it's not. This is the other issue. Okay. La da da da. La da da da. Okay, so I think you need to do one, two, three, four. Dude, die! Now, if everything was done correctly, which I pray to God it was. They should be spawning up there now, and I guess we will see. All right, I am so sick and tired of having to go mining for iron. I really, really hope that this works. I'm gonna need to build myself a good way to get up there. Oh, there's one. So it looks like that part is working, which is cool. Let me just double check, make sure I have everything correct. Okay, well, we want to have a ladder going up, and I think we have one here. Then bang. Very cool. And then I can go up here. I can check. We got iron. 
iron is going that okay so everything seems like it's working it might not be the most efficient farm that i could have built but since this is a farm that's only going to be for me i think we can make do and it's wow it's producing more and more so let's just keep an eye on this real quick dying right now and there we go another three pieces of iron awesome so everything is working which is great i love the sign of that beautiful i have all these extra materials i guess i could take this iron awesome guys well we got our first iron farm on the server it might not be the last i might go ahead and make a very very big one but that'll be a project down the line that i'm going to either fully record and show the whole entire process or it's gonna be something that I build on stream. And like I said previously, guys, if you went ahead and went over to twitch.tv slash Arco, just like my YouTube, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys dropped the follow there. So definitely go ahead and check that out. It's gonna be uh, some pretty nice content going on over there. I'm gonna go ahead and AFK for a little bit. Um, I definitely need to go ahead and take care of some things over here like replanting these things so here's the here's the plan right guys we have that villager breeder which i definitely gotta go check and see if it's still stuck at two villagers at a time because by now they probably have two villagers again but yeah i definitely gotta check on that right and another thing is since we have the villager breeder and now we have an iron farm i'm pretty much set for materials for building things yes of course i will need building blocks such as getting wood or deep slate or stuff like that but overall i think i'm gonna be good which brings me to my next thing enchanting as you guys can see right down there i am level 37 which means i can enchant two items uh now as you did see i don't really have that many diamonds but it's not a big deal. I also said I was going to take this world slow. And I really, really do want to take it slow. Don't want to speed run anything and, you know, get everything I ever needed right off the bat. So I definitely want to take that stuff slow. I will be rocking iron for a long time since, I mean, come on, why why not? I have unlimited of it. Uh, the only things that I will probably have diamond are most likely going to be tools. Uh, just because I do build a lot in having enchanted diamond tools makes life a lot easier um of course we could always end up getting another right don't really know and holy crap dude this farm is just insane i love this this is awesome and i hear the composter going off i wonder if we've got can i check in there oh yep ouch we're getting some good stuff that's cool um i will probably afk okay so this is not cool that means I gotta go ahead and check why the heck it's not filtering. It should be filtering. Okay, that time I added it. Maybe I'll fix that later. Not a big deal. Hmm, another big problem. Can't be having that. Nope, nope, nope. Move out the way, weirdo. We're just gonna do a little bit of this. Make things look a little nicer. Now I need more lava to kill this guy. Or I could just do the good old. Hey. Hey, loser. Yeah. Take some of that. Thought I heard another golem dying. I was getting a little excited there. Cool. I think I'm going to need to take care of all this stuff too. I might as well just... See if everything can fit. Seems like everything can fit. Let's check and see. So if iron drops in here. Bang, bang. I wonder if it'll sort. Wow. Guys, I haven't even been... It hasn't even been like 10 minutes since I built this thing. I already have 40 iron. Like, come on. This is absolutely amazing. Okay, well, on to the next. One thing I will need to keep an eye on is to make sure that they don't spawn elsewhere. They got to make sure they are only spawning up there, which removing those blocks seems like did 
exactly what it needed to do. But who knows? Maybe raising this up one would have been nice. Not the worst thing in the world, but it also matches the whole aesthetic with the deep slate and everything. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, okay. Well, I don't know how much footage I have so far, but I'm assuming I have time for another small project. Actually, I just had an idea. If I go ahead and AFK while editing what I have so far, we might be able to, I might be able to tell you exactly how good this farm actually is. And I do want to be able to see it while I'm in my little room up there. So I'm going to get rid of these trees and we're going to plant some new ones elsewhere. Yep. Cool. <clears throat> I don't even know if I touched on the subject, but with the whole villager breeder thing that we got going on, you might as well go check it out now. I don't know if I should build a trading hall. Would you guys want to see that in an episode? That's going to take a really, really long time. So if you guys want to see that, comment that down below. I don't even know where I would want to put it. If you guys have any suggestions? That would be amazing. I definitely want to put it over by the house of course wow that just looks so damn good wow oh we also need a bee farm but before we do any of that i need to get silk touch and silk touch is very 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 important to have especially for me because i am i, I suck i i always have to end up breaking glass or i don't even know i just i need silk touch trust me i need it so that's going to be something on the list of enchantments that we want to get it looks like we only have two guys here. So it, it looks like the cap is two, which is not how it used to be. Watch, they're going to get those little gray thunderbolt things. I don't know what the heck they're called. Yeah, those things, little clouds. Okay, yeah, I don't like that. We need to make this work. I might end up having to make a brand new villager breeder. This is not okay because it took me a minute. As soon as I took one guy away from here and brought him all the way over there it worked and it produced another one and then i took those two and put them over there which i just i took this away i put a boat down and then i sailed it across and i landed over there and then from there it was a little bit of a hassle but i got him up to the right y level and things went smoothly lol things went smoothly you guys saw how bad that was I also think I might need to get rid of all these villagers over here because they might they might do something to the cap. But obviously, I can't just come over here and start slaying these guys. And I will teach you guys one of the or one of my absolute favorite farms to build is going to be an infinite carrot and potato farm. So the infinite potato and carrot farm is so damn good. You will literally get a double chest filled with carrots and potatoes like within an hour a double chest will be filled that might not be exact but it's pretty dang fast uh if i have my other world i would show you but unfortunately since i did get a new pc all my worlds are gone i didn't back them up or anything but trust and look at that it's been maybe 20 minutes nah it's been like 15 and i got 54 almost a full stack which is absolutely incredible. And I, let's just check these guys' trades real quick. Nothing nice. Curse of Binding. I don't like that. Okay. We got one piece of bone meal. Well, all right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and do my little AFK session. Get some more iron going. And while I'm AFKing, I will go ahead and edit what we have so far. And then from there, I will be able to tell whether or not I should cut this episode now or if I should end up doing another little project, maybe another little small build, something. But yeah, I'll be right back. Do you guys see how nasty this weather is? Well, I just finished editing what I had so far and we're already over 20 minutes long, which is pretty decent episode length. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and real quick check how much iron we have and how many or how much bone meal. Um, can I sleep? I cannot. Okay, that sucks. 
I have been AFK editing for maybe an hour, maybe hour and a half or so. Um, I didn't do anything crazy. It was a pretty quick edit, I'd say. But okay, let's check. So nothing up there yet. Wow. So <laughs> three stacks of iron. I just don't understand why the filter isn't working properly. Okay, well, yeah, so we have three stacks of iron and then a little bit extra for about an hour's worth, which is, <laughs> I mean, that's pretty damn nice. So I can already go ahead and get myself some new gear, finally get armor because I still don't have any damn armor. But we'll go ahead and do that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap the episode up right here. Uh, if you guys did enjoy watching this one, I would really appreciate it if you guys left a like, commented, and subscribed. It would mean the world to me if you guys did that. So go ahead and do that for me. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.